so in the last video we completed the add employee method so there was some issue with the date formatting so basically uh, I was sending the date here but uh, I was getting a date time here in the API method okay so basically what I did is I just uh, removed the time part and kept only the date part so now it seems to work the only change that I did was this I just extracted the date part from the uh, date time uh, object okay so now let me try to you know add new employee um, okay I'll add department as uh, operations mail ID I'll give something and I'll choose a date okay I click on add employee now it has added successfully <clears throat> so now in this video what we're going to do is we are going to complete the delete as well as the update methods okay so let's close everything and uh, open the edit employee dot type script dot ts and edit department dot ts sorry not edit it should be show employee and show department right show employee and show department dot ts so what we have to copy is we have to copy the delete method right so we'll copy the delete method and put inside the employee component so where are we passing this ID if we go back to the show employee dot HTML and look at this uh, column options inside options we have delete on delete we are sending the row dot employee ID so whatever the row that you want to delete the corresponding ID we are sending to on delete method <clears throat> so that should work now so let's see that if it works or not so we'll click on uh, uh, John okay so we'll click on delete we'll see if that works it hadn't <clears throat> let's reload the page and see if that uh, okay we'll see if we got any error <clears throat> so we'll click on delete and click on okay it's not a function okay sorry we have to make some changes here it should be delete employee right delete employee and after that we have to refresh the employee list that is the change that we had to make so now it should work let's click on employees delete John click on ok and it has deleted successfully ok now let's move on to completing the edit method ok let's close everything <clears throat> and uh, let's open up the add sorry let's open up the add employee component dot html and edit employee component html so what is the difference between the add and uh, update is that the only difference is that you have then uh, you have to additionally display the id right so we'll copy this and paste here right <clears throat> so it has employee name so it should be add new employee it should be update employee right update employee or whatever edit employee and then we have an additional column which is the employee ID we have to display employee ID but it should be a read only right read only equal to read only and this is supposed to be employee ID employee ID here as well here and finally here okay so that is the only change that we had to make and also the button name should be update employee instead of add employee so let's close that and what is the next thing that we want to do is let's open up the show employee component dot ts and show department component dot ts so on edit 
what is the thing that we are supposed to do we have to copy this on edit <clears throat> and paste it here in uh, show employee component so we are expecting employee object employee okay and it should be edit we are going to open edit employee component so that is the only change that we want to make and also this dot service dot form data we are sending the employee here on click of edit so if you look at on edit we are sending the entire row the entire row contains employee id employee name department uh, mail id and date of joining right so we are sending the entire thing here in the object and then we are setting the form data so that we can display in the edit employee html okay here we are displaying mail id service or form data uh, and others okay so let's click on employees and click on so again we forgot to do one thing which is to add the edit department component inside the app module right so you have to go to app module and inside the entry components we have to write edit dip, edit employee component not department edit employee component so now let's see if that thing works we we'll click on okay it is supposed to work yeah it works but the problem is that form data is undefined so we have to make some more changes here so let's close the let's close everything let's compare edit department.ts and uh, edit employee.ts so one of the changes that we want to make is let's copy these things and uh, paste it here so instead of this it is employee service from employee service and let's copy the constructor as well and it is supposed to be edit employee component and employee service and then let's have the ng on it and uh, close and on submit as well <clears throat> so this also this is fine so we should call now update employee method and pass the form value and rest all should be fine so let's see if that thing works click on employees add employee sorry uh, edit employee right so we have all the columns except department so what does Mary department is IT let's see if IT exists yes okay we have to bind the drop down as well right so apart from everything on G on it we have to bind the drop down as well so we're gonna copy the drop down method from uh, add we had written the drop down uh, I mean functionality in here right so what is the thing that we did was this to copy the drop down and uh, go back to edit employee component and have the drop down method and then we'll say this dot drop down refresh right so this will bind our drop down and uh, we have to copy the list item as well sorry So 
we have copied the list item as well so now let's see if that thing works Okay. Click on employees, click on edit. So now we have everything. So we'll change the name Mary123 and click on uh, and also change, try to change the date to something else and click on update. It said fail to update. So that is because we have to, you know, again get the I think it's again the date format issue right so we'll copy the same thing for the put method and copy the date of joining and instead of employee dot date of joining we'll pass the date part only So now let's click on update or maybe wait for the API to run to start. Um, <clears throat> I think it's up. Now let's click on update and we see updated successfully. We'll click on go close and see that the name has been updated and also the date of joining okay 